guys and welcome back to another vlog today i thought i'd do a fall morning routine and of course every morning here looks completely different um i am currently working from home so sometimes i sleep in sometimes i get up early for a workout sometimes i get up early and drive to the trail and meet up with someone or ride my bike so this one is a complete rest day morning routine because we did a triathlon yesterday so today is all about rest i made the bed i let in natural light i like to put on an ambiance thing on the screen when i work i can't have like tv shows or movies playing in the background because it's distracting especially when i write so i like to leave like ambiance things and there's videos out there and i'll link some below um they're gorgeous and they look like a picture you picked out for your living room and every morning i like to do at least one chore so cleaning the house doesn't feel so hectic and things are kind of maintained usually it's putting away the dishes and i just have like a couple like the crock pot pot and my mug and to scrub the sink because i put sink cleaner in the night before and i'll probably throw in a load of laundry to start going while i work and it kind of just keeps things going while i'm working and that's how i operate i'm gonna make some lemon water and then i'm gonna do my journaling else I like to do to set the full vibes before I get started working is pick out an essential oil for the diffuser and make it smell really good. I don't like to have a candle burning all day because I feel like one that's wasteful and candles are expensive um, and I can it, this is much safer to be honest it, say like if I leave the house I don't feel bad leaving this on. So this is the one I use. Pumpkin pie. I got this off of Amazon. It was like six bucks and it smells so good. It smells like you just bake something super fresh. My phone is going off right now because it just turned 8 a.m. and that means that my do not disturb is over and so I'm gonna get notifications. And pro tip, that keeps your phone pretty quiet and away from you for a while. Um, so I put water in these decor things, specifically the poison one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill her up with water. It also kind of feels like you're mixing potions when it comes out of the, these decor things. Let's get up. So to last all day, four to five drops will usually suffice. Two. And there she goes. For breakfast, it kind of takes a, a while to cook slash steep. So I'm probably going to put it together now before I go and journal and stuff. So I'm going to make some oatmeal and hard boiled eggs. And I'm going to show you what I'm using. 
So I like to do about half a cup of oats. And then I kind of eyeball the rest. I like to do about like a tablespoon of ground flaxseed, some chia seeds, a dash of salt, ah. and then pumpkin pie spice. You can do cinnamon, but because it's the fall. And then to sweeten it up, I like to do a little bit of brown sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that steep for now. And it smells really good. I don't have any berries at the moment, but if I did, I would top that with that. Um, but for now, I just wanted something warm and hearty for breakfast. And then I use this egg cooker machine for our hard boiled eggs. And you can choose, I'll have this link down below. I love this thing, I use it every single day. You can choose um, soft, medium, or hard boiled, depending on how much water you put in, so you never have to guesstimate. And so, you take the egg, once you put in the water, you put this tray on, you pierce the egg, put another hole in there, go on, voila, and then it'll ring like a doorbell when it's completely done. We have two eggs, one for me and one for matcha. Now that I'm really starting to wake up, I kind of wanted to talk about the journals and things that I'm reading in the morning, or at least try to. So first things first, these are both two different journals. I, don't get me wrong, I love a good prompt, I love a good writing prompt, and I feel like, like the five minute journal and a lot of the gratitude journals and the organizational ones, they, they kind of ask the same questions every day and they're all just headed for the same goal. It's just be more grateful and practice it in your everyday routine and just kind of make a conscious effort to be grateful and to acknowledge it, right? I, I got this meditation journal last year and some of the questions, they, they repeat. Um, today's affirmation and it kind of gives you a big paragraph for that. Ooh, my journal, oh my god. <laughs> what was I thinking? Okay. It says today's affirmation. I'm not going to read you what it says. Um, and then right above it, it says, fill your lungs, clear your mind. Four second inhale, seven second hold, eight second exhale, and then repeat. So I do like to practice this and at least do a five minute meditation. It's really hard to meditate, especially when your mind goes a thousand miles per minute. 
it's definitely a practice it's a skill and it's one that i don't have quite yet so i love that it kind of tells you how many seconds to count and so i've been kind of doing this when i'm in a stress situation or angry <laughs> um, and, it, and it kind of brings me down before i say anything venomous it really keeps me grounded when i have to list out the things that i'm grateful for and that that i do participate in and so i keep this around and I fill it out, and I don't fill out all those prompts. I'll pick like two or three of them, like today's intention, affirmation, and gratitude. And then the next day I'll do the creative space and everything. But I don't do all of them because it's a lot to write. And so I've been doing that one for the past year, and I kind of felt hindered as to what I really wanted to write and what I really wanted to divulge into a journal. And so I was like, you know what, like, why not just have both? I've had journals since I was like seven or ten years old and I keep them all and my sister likes to hunt them down in our childhood home and read them and she thinks it's a funny activity so not that if you're watching this we need to cut that hobby she was reading them like magazines I'm not I'm not still salty and I just love journaling because I feel like our memories fail us and when we get older and if we come across these we'll be like wow i can't believe i was going through that in that season and i've come out on top i can't believe that i found that to be difficult i can't believe that that's what brought me joy over and over and over again and then you as you read journals throughout the years you're kind of like wow the common denominator in a lot of these journals is i was just happy about good health I was just happy when I was around quality people and that these things made me angry and so you learn a lot about yourself because it's just like a chronological documentation of your entire life that you put together so I don't mean to get too deep into why I love journaling but that's why I do it I try to do it very often and then the next is the Quran <laughs> so taking complete left turn um, if you know me I am more spiritual than religious over the years I've kind of realized as I near closer to the age of wanting kids I am oh hello yes you are my kid too oh my god a bug as I near the age of having kids I kind of want to be more educated on every other religion Whenever my kids encounter kid other children who have different religions and backgrounds and I don't want to speak on behalf of the, those kids but I definitely want to be educated on what they believe. Yeah. So I'm never ignorant and I'm never insensitive to someone. And so I'm reading some passages in the Quran. I'm reading the history of Muhammad and his family in his childhood and how he became the prophet of Allah in Islam and it's really inspiring and I think with religions in Christianity, Judaism, Islam I'm, I'm speaking okay. I think the common denominator with all religions is to be good to other people and to just be kind of course there's your stark differences of what they truly believe. I just really like to peel back all the layers and think we're not so different after all. I'm not gonna sit here and read the entire Quran. You also, you can't read it in order. Like, there's a specific way you have to read the books. So, fun fact on that, you learn something every day. So right now I'm gonna do my journaling, my gratitude, acknowledgements, and read a couple pages from the Quran.
my third bottle of this oil. It has literally done wonders for, I, I go blonde quite a bit, like on and off, like with lots of highlights and it just kills my ends. And this oil has saved me. And like, of course, like getting trimmed off and like healthy maintaining and everything, but this is Hosk's Argan Oil Repairing Hair Oil. This stuff is $4, $4, $4 at Ulta. I have really thick hair. If you have thin hair, I would put one pump, but I do too. Warm her up. And then I start at the ends. Cause that's where the repairing needs. Kinda like brush it through and then make sure to get up here where those layers are. And then I put the excess throughout. Bind, bind, bind. Excess. That's all I do. If you need a new hair oil, this is it. Routine. So I got dressed, put on some clothes. I feel kind of ready to take on the day. It's a Monday for reference, so I'm, I hope you start out your week really great. I really love morning routine videos because I feel like someone can take away something from each kind of video. I love to see how people start their days because it's the most important part of the day to me. Um, so like this video if you liked it and hit subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.